welcome both both you guys. Yeah, good to have you. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I mean, riding or racing is not everything in life. There's also life afterwards. So I also still have a normal work and I'm not making my, my life out of motocross or I'm not like, I'm not paying it from that. So yeah, also nobody thought that the virus would affect the world so much. And uh, at the moment I for sure miss riding, uh, but like it's important to stay at home and listen to the government and yeah, not ride. You can do physical training. You can go running or, on a, yeah, do some muscle training at home. And yeah, I hope that the world is not affected too much anymore, and that it's going to be okay, good again. Can you tell us what what adjustments did you have to make when when you first made that move out? Uh, and I think the first base was in Italy, uh, and then you continued. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What what were those what were those challenges like? Um, yeah, they were really, really difficult. I guess I had to stop relying on my family so much. Um, you know, my parents had always helped me to go racing and then I went overseas by myself. So um it was such a big thing for me to ask for help from other people or um to just, you know, if you're struggling to uh sort of just get on with it and um not yeah not complain to people because there was no one to complain to so um yeah I definitely face some challenges also in the loneliness um and everything being foreign and unknown obviously missed the adrenaline of, of racing over there and as hard as it was it was definitely always worth it um like I grew so much from all those experiences and now I feel like I can enter um a difficult situation and sort of just wing my way through it. <laughs> I guess it just builds your character like that. Did you make the decision easily uh, because you're racing the best 250 guys in the world? Um, how did you come about the decision and what was that experience actually like as you for a person? Um, actually it was a difficult decision to make because of the money not because of racing against the fastest men in the world or that stuff and um, yeah it was a, a lot of money we spent but it was definitely worth it and uh, it was a good experience i actually wasn't nervous at all um i wanted to do good and i had a goal to to finish in the points but i had no pressure not like in the wmx or something where you have to do good because you only have six races or anything so yeah, I got good starts and I checked to the side and I was way up in front, but then I got scared and I went off the gas. So <laughs> actually, yeah, <laughs> was kind of crazy. I'm actually not going off the gas at the start, but yeah, that was a bit too much for me. And they also, they way much faster, but yeah, there was never a point in the race where I was scared of them or anything. They were really like, looking after me and not riding into me or anything. So yeah, I actually just raced my own race and yeah, my goal was to finish and to not crash. And yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> I am really fortunate that um, road racing or circuit racing that I do is so much more a mental game than a physical game. Um, like uh, Larissa and those kids, it's so physical and um, you have to be so aggressive. Whereas what I do is definitely um, a bit, so I guess when you beat the boys, it feels really good. <laughs> like once I get through the first corner, I can actually have my race. <laughs> um, but to get through it is like pretty nerve wracking. Flying start for the Yamaha at Larissa Papamai. Papamai won the race. It was a fourth Grand Prix victory for Larissa Papamaya. Fontanese second overall, third. But I think just believing in yourself and having that attitude that you can do it. Like I've ridden motorbikes for even now. Um, I did motocross since I was six years old and then road race since I was six. I um, spent racing bikes. So I guess the um, skill side of it, like um, I'm pretty set, obviously, still always working on things and trying to get better. But um, a lot of it is just being positive. 
I do just love racing, I really do. <laughs> When you're out on track and that comes from having like a fresh mindset and um, not getting wound up in the small things, definitely missing the racing. But I think like Lara said, it's important to have other things in life and, you know, work keeps us busy and things like that that we can still do.